that means that a sharp or pointed edge listen it is a two inclined plane listen for example this is the axis okay this axis how it will be made here it is a thick okay the axis will be a thick here here it is very sharp okay so that it is like it has two sides the two sides are like a inclined plane like a sharp okay sloping surface area so it has two inclined planes on both sides and that means that a sharp edge okay it will be very sharp in that one edge okay so that the example of wedge and also knife is the example of wedge axe is the example of wedge then fork uh, it will be one side it will be thick and another one side is very sharp okay so that is the example of wedge okay wedges used as the objects to split into two next one is wheel and axle okay this is the arrangement of a wheel attached to a rod called an axle listen it is the arrangement of wheel it is like a wheel okay tire or steering in the car okay these are the example of wheel and axle and in between or in the middle it has a rod it's called axle okay wheel and axle okay it is the arrangement of wheel attached to a rod called an axle okay where we can find this wheel and axle in the tires steering wheels of car two wheelers four wheelers we can find the tires yes this is the example of wheel and axle next type of simple machine is called pulley okay it is a wheel with a groove around its rim and a rope passing through the groove listen here this is the pulley okay it is a wheel with a groove these parts are called groove okay wheel with a pulley around its rim okay and a rope passing through the groove okay what are the uses of this pulley pulleys are used to drawing the water from the well and flag poles sail boats okay we have to use the pulleys in different places okay then uh, these are the pulleys have two types fixed and movable pulley first one is the fixed pulley and movable pulleys are works with the combination how it will be the fixed pulleys are uh, it will be fixed in a place fixed with the groove or fixed with the axle okay and another one is movable pulley this movable pulley it will be not fixed with the axle it will be free okay the pulleys in which the axle will be not fixed anywhere it will be free okay so the fixed pulley and the movable pulleys are work with together okay next one is how to maintain the machines okay in our uh, home we have different types of machines mixer grinder yeah, cycle okay cycle is a machine okay so these are the machines how to maintain say some machines made up of iron more types of machines made up of iron so we have to protect the machines from rusting okay for that we have to uh, apply painting okay next one is heat produced due to the friction okay before using the machines or after using the machines we have to apply the oil or grease in that machines so we have to avoid the friction okay when the friction will be less the machines will be work long life when not using the machines we have to protect the machines from the dust okay so these are the maintenance of the machines listen children we can do some numerical questions now you should copy this answers and questions you should write in the booklet okay first question calculate the work done in question a if a force of 250 newton pushes an object through 3.5 meter question b if an effort of 15 newton rises a sack of rice through a height of 30 meter first we have to find work done okay two questions are there
there. First one is part A. Listen, we have to find work done here. What are the uh, things given here? Force. Okay. What is the formula to find the work done? Work done is equal to force into distance. Work done is equal to force into distance. So force is given here. So force is equal to 250 Newton. Force is equal to 250 Newton. Next distance is equal to 3.5 meter. 3.5 meter. Now we have to substitute these values here. F is equal to 250 Newton into distance. 3.5. Then we have to multiply this. 250, 3.5. 0, 5, 5 are 25. 2 balance. 2, 5 are 10 plus 2, 12. Again, 0, 3, 5 are 15. 1 balance. 2, 3 are 6 plus 7. 1, 7. 5, 7, 8. Here 8750, 8750 Joule. Okay, what is the unit of work done? Joule. Next part B. Okay, this is the same formula to find the work done. Is equal to F into D. So B part, force is given. Force is equal to 50 Newton. Force is equal to 50 Newton and Distance. It means height. Okay. Distance equal to 30 meter. Then we have to substitute the values here. What then? W is equal to force into distance. 50 into 30. Then multiply these numbers. 50 into 30. 3 fives are 50. 1500. Our answer is 1500. Okay. Next question. The effort arm of a lever is 5 meter long and its load arm is 2 meter long. Find the effort needed to raise a load of 70 kilogram weight. Okay. We should find the effort here. When we find the mechanical advantage, what is the formula we have to use? Length of effort arm divided by length of load arm is equal to load by effort. Yes. So we have to use that formula. First one, a force. Before starting the answer, you should write the formula. Okay. A force arm divided by load arm is equal to load divided by a force. Now we have to write a force arm is equal to Load arm is equal to 2 meter. Next, load. Load is equal to 70 kilogram weight. Then we have to find the effort. Okay. Now substitute the values here. Effort arm is equal to 5 meter divided by load arm is equal to 2 meter is equal to load divided by effort. So, Load is given 70 divided by F4. We have to find the F4. Okay. Now, we have to cross multiply these numbers. Okay. So, F4 into 5 is equal to 70 into 2. Okay. F4 into 5 is equal to 70 into 2. Now, F4 is equal to 70 into 2 divided by 5. We have to divide these numbers. Okay. 1, 5 is 5. Here 1, 5 is 5. Remaining 2 balance. So 20. 4, 5 is 20. Here 14 into 2. 14 into 2. 2, 4 is 8. 1, 2 is 2. So answer is 20. 
Next one is what will be the distance between effort and load? Okay, from the distance to load, what is the distance? Here, we have to find it. Okay, this is 75. Okay, from 5 gram to load, we have 75 centimeter. So, distance between effort and load is equal to. We should write in sentence. Distance between effort and load is equal to. 75 total minus 25. Okay, so 75 minus 25 is equal to 50 centimeter. So distance between airport and load is equal to 50 centimeter. Did you understand these answers? We have three homework problems posted from the book 4, 6, and 8. If you have any doubt, you can ask me through this Zoom interactive session. Okay? We have completed lesson 4.